Last time we talked about the difference between trucks and passenger cars on the road. Now we'll get into how you should drive when you're around big rigs. Trucks don't have rear view mirrors on their windshields. They rely fully on their side mirrors. In bad weather, those mirrors could be blurry, foggy, or just plain useless. See the car? How about now? In bad conditions, if you're not using your headlights, your car can be invisible to truck drivers. Have you ever heard of no zones? They're the four large blind spots all around a semi-tractor and trailer where truck drivers have limited or no visibility. This driver can't see any vehicles in his mirrors, but this is what could potentially be around his truck and trailer. As a driver, you need to know when you're in one of these four blind spots. The right side no zone is the largest of these blind spots and extends up to three lanes from the truck. This is why you should always avoid passing trucks on their right side. Drivers that are in these four no zones contribute to most of our state's truck-related crashes. Stay out of a truck's blind spots whenever possible. So how can you tell if you're in a no zone when you're driving? Follow this rule. If you can't see the truck driver's face in their side mirrors, they can't see you. To drive safely around semi-trucks, you need to see the driver's face and be able to make eye contact with them. Next up, tailgating and drafting. Driving too closely behind the back of a truck's trailer is dangerous, it's illegal, and it's not gonna help you save on gas. A truck's rear blind spot extends as far back as 200 feet behind it. That's about two thirds the length of a football field. See this car? If you're driving in the same spot behind a truck trailer, you're too close. Just because there's a space behind a truck doesn't mean that your car should be there. Give trucks in front of you plenty of space. Snow plows have the same blind spots as semi-trucks, even if it seems like they don't. Sure, they may be shorter than a truck and trailer, but snow plows spray salt and sand behind them while pushing snow and slush that's sometimes higher than your car. If their lights are on and their blades are down, never pass a snow plow. Always leave them space to clear the roads for you. This is what happens when you try to pass a snow plow. It's not a pretty sight. Be careful how you drive when you're around big rigs.